Good morning. We're going to do uh, another one of these beautiful Bass Rock surfs this morning. Uh, this is one of my favorite spots on Bass Rocks in Gloucester, Mass. All right, we're going to begin with a nice wash of, this is a water color color. <laughs> okay, this is Windsor Blue and Cad Red mixed with the, you know, water. So bring that in and paint right down to the rocks, but leave some, uh, you know, you got a nice wave there, and that's what I'm painting right now, the interior of the wave. Uh, leave a little pieces of white in the background where, <clears throat> you know, you might have some surf and so forth. And we'll bring that right down to, almost to the rocks. Now, before it comes to the rocks, there's a, some turbulence in the water, and. It, there's a lot of white going on. And then on the other side of the rocks right here, it's also the same, there's a lot of action. So I'm throwing, I'm throwing the paint at it so that I can leave some white spots in there. You've seen me do this a few times. Uh, look at your photo, study your photo, and you know, don't try to do a portrait of it, but you, you can see the action, you can see the motion and how the water turns and leaves those white the white spots in there, you want to get away from those. So leave those nice, leave as much as you can. All right, so now I'm going in and I'm just uh, painting uh, the water as it comes down into that turbulent water. And um, I added a little more uh, ultramarine blue to that color. It changes as it gets on the other side of the rocks, you know, in that break, so. All right, so I'm just putting some spots in there where the, the water is moving. Leave plenty of white. That, that crest in the, in, in the uh, wave there, right at the deepest part of the wave is very deep. So I'm going back in there and adding another wash. And I'm gonna go back later when this dries, I'm gonna put an even darker wash. Very deep, very beautiful, deep green in there, so. I added a pinch of a red and yellow to the color so that it's a little lighter green on top. And there I'm, I'm doing that, that deep curve of the wave again and I'm getting that in. But I'm gonna go back again because that's very deep, okay? All right, we'll bring that down. A couple of spots here where you can see through the wave. You know, the wave breaks and there's all kinds of action up there. We'll go back and do some more on that later. As this dries, when it dries, we're, we're gonna be able to do more to it. All right, we'll get the rocks painted here. They, they have sort of a raw sienna core. This is raw sienna mixed with quin sienna. It's a little bit on the brown side, uh, but it's a warm brown. Basically, just paint the shape of it right now. Don't try to get, it, get into any of those dark crevices or anything like that. We'll get back to that. Just paint the shape of it. And we're gonna go over this with some, uh, some blue, ultramarine blue to bring it down, especially on the dark side. So what I wanna do here is, uh, I'm gonna put a warm color. Uh, that's a little bit of the dark stuff, but just to get a variation in the color of the rocks. But you can see here, I'm putting some, this is actually cad red mixed with that uh, quinciana. Now we're gonna go over that, but I want that dark red to be the underpainting, like a core, okay? Same thing here on the front rocks. We're just gonna go through that raw sienna, little bit of rose, little bit of blue, and now I'm adding some cad red to warm it up. And you'll see later, this, this really comes out later on as, you know, as an underpainting almost on those rocks. All right, just covering it with some, the darker part. There's a, if you look at your photo, there's a dark shade there. And I'm painting the, not really the, the shade yet, but just the underpainting of it. All right, so here I am putting the dark on the dark side of that rock. But you can see now how that warm uh, red comes through. It's nice and warm and it gives it, gives the rock a core of warmth that we want to show here. All right, so I'm going in and doing a little bit of calligraphy on the cracks and crevices that are on that rock. Uh, not all of it, you can take your time and, you know, as this, 
as this rock dries up. Once we get these shapes in, the rock's going to dry up and you can even go back again and, and take your time. Do as much as you want with that, that dark stuff, you know. If, you know, some people are really into the details of these rocks and, and you, you can be, there's nothing wrong with it. All right, it's kind of setting up so I'm going in with some even darker color where the shadow is much darker. But you can see I'm leaving the core, that warmth in the center, and that's going to come through, okay? To a certain extent, I'll just let that shine through. All right, going back up, just doing the details on the crevices of the rocks. And try not to lose any of that white splash that's really important down there. All right, we got this big long rock on the right uh, that's actually, you know, it's, it was covered with surf. The surf broke, you know, the last wave broke right over it and left pools of water on the top. And, you know, you want to, uh, you want to look at that, you want to pay attention to that. Uh, this side of that rock is in shade and we'll go back later once this dries and we'll put some shadow on it. But for now, we're just gonna... I, there's a detail of this rock uh, in video somewhere. If you look on, uh, if you go to the Vimeo site, there's a, there's a video just of this rock. It's actually really good. All right, so you're leaving the water on top. You're leaving that splash. All right, I'm going back. More details on these rocks. Just, there's some really dark spots there that we wanna, we wanna bring out. Remember, when you hit these darks, it brings out the, the lights, you know? So it's, it's really important. A big part of painting is understanding that you can't have light without the dark, you know, and you can't have the dark without having that light on there. You know, it needs that constant comparison of, of uh, values, okay? So you do as much detail as you want. All right, I'm going in with some shadow. You can see it's ultramarine, blue, and some rose, just enough to, you know, to calm it down a little bit, get rid of that high intensity blue, but uh, you can see it's, you know, that shadow is, it works beautifully. All right, this whole side of that rock is in shadow, so you want to make sure, you know, you cover that. It really sits the painting down, you know, the shadow really works to sit that painting down. And we have some more shadow here. I love these paintings, you know, I, I really do love the surf. And they're easy to do once you do a few of them. That's why I try to put so many up on video so you can keep doing them and you're pushing yourself to do them. All right. What I, I like to do is, um, I'm just, you can do the same thing on the rocks in the front here, you know, just picking out some details, a little bit here and there, but make sure you get that cast of shadow across Okay. A few little details in the water and what's splashing. All right, I think, I think I, I, what I'd like to do is go back up in that, uh, as I look at it, uh, I need to get that uh, dark wave uh, again. So this is very deep, okay? This is the same color that I used before, less water obviously. So run a band across and then just go up there with some water and loosen those edges up. Soften the edges, okay? That's phthalo blue and a touch of red. All right, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this. I love these uh, surf paintings. Uh, please uh, subscribe if you have not, and like if you do. <laughs> Thanks, and I will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.